because it was such an important goal, Louise. And I think when we look back on the tournament, seeing where, see where they, they finish up, that's going to be one of the moments of it. Yeah, listen, it's, what a way to win a game for them. Um, they just completely shifted that momentum um, in the game. And you could also kind of see this, like the Spanish kind of losing it a little bit. When, when England got that first goal, there was the substitute goalkeeper, I think Rodriguez gets a yellow card in the stands. You know, just little moments are starting to happen. And again, literally as we saw, you know, and, and Spain were in possession of the ball when they lost it. And literally as soon as I saw that it was being picked to, you know, pass the Georgia Stanway, I was like, they, ha they have to close her. She's, she's known for it. She did it against Blues. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but you, you brought yeah, it up. It happened and it was a... I don't know, maybe that one was a bit nicer, but it was, you, know, you, you have to close mm. her there. And it's just, it's, it's unfortunate. The Spanish, for, you can say, yes, the absolute quality of the goal, but there has to be pressure on the ball. Richie, it's got so interesting now, though, hasn't it? Because before this game, we were pretty sure of the starting 11 for England. Yeah. We nearly knew the subs that Wiegmann was going to bring on, the changes she was going to make, when she was going to make them. But her stars didn't shine, so now she has questions. Yeah, and Vera, was, Vera Powell the other night said it's a, it's a very Dutch approach to keep a team, uh, sele consistency of selection for a team in a tournament situation, particularly one that's winning. Um, and the subs that come on in the group games all come on and made an impact, which strengthens the manager's view that they're impact subs and should be remaining as subs. But what happened tonight, which is very different from the group games, a lot of the players, and I'm thinking of the four up front in particular, didn't have an impact. Um, most of that, I think, is down to the quality of the Spanish team. But now what does the coach do? Because I, I, I wonder actually what the mood is. Like, even here in Stanway there, like she was asked how to sum it up and she immediately just brushed past any suggestion that she would talk about the team playing poorly and said, we had a setback and we responded. So you just use that as, a, as an example to go, look at our character, look at our personality. Even when we're not at our best, we win. You score against us, we'll come back. So I think they must be even higher than they were after the group stages. And they are now something that they weren't after the group, which is a phrase I kept hearing is they're battle tested. Mm -hmm. Germany, Sweden, Netherlands, um, um, Spain all played top teams in the group stages. They were really tested. On paper, England's biggest opponent didn't show up, Norway. So tonight, England are now certainly battle-tested.